The unicameral parliament of Uganda is the country's legislative body. The most significant of the Ugandan parliament's functions is to pass laws which will provide good governance in the country. The government ministers are bound to answer to the people's representatives on the floor of the House. Through the various parliamentary committees, Parliament scrutinizes government programs, particularly as outlined in the State of the Nation Address by the President. The fiscal issues of the government, such as, taxation and loans need the sanction of the Parliament, after appropriate debate. Composition <laughs> <laughs> The Ugandan parliament is composed of 238 constituency representatives, 112 district women representatives, 10 Uganda People's Defence Forces representatives, 5 representatives of the youth, 5 representatives of persons with disabilities, 5 representatives of workers, and 13 ex officio members. History The Ugandan parliament was established in 1962, soon after the country's independence. Topic: <laughs> First Parliament 1962-1963. This body was then known as the Legislative Council (LEGCO). It had 92 members and was presided over, as Speaker, by Sir John Bowes Griffin, a British lawyer and former Ugandan Chief Justice. Second Parliament 1963 During this period, Prime Minister Milton Oboe abrogated the Constitution and declared himself President of Uganda in 1966. This parliament also witnessed the abolition of Uganda's traditional kingdoms and the declaration of Uganda as a republic. The speaker during the second parliament was Narendra M. Patel, a Ugandan of Indian descent. This parliament ended when Idi Amin overthrew Milton Oboe's government in January 1971. <laughs> Third parliament 1979-1980. Following the overthrow of Idi Amin in April 1979, a new legislative body known as the Uganda Legislative Council was established. With an initial membership of 30, the membership was later increased to 120. This was the third parliament and was chaired by Professor Edward Rugamayo. This legislative body continued to function until the general elections of December 1980. Fourth Parliament 1980 to 1985 This period marked the return to power of Milton Oboe and the Uganda People's Congress UPC following the disputed national elections of 1980 The speaker of the Fourth Parliament was Francis Butajira a Harvard trained lawyer The Fourth Parliament ended when General Basilio Akello overthrew Oboe and the UPC government in 1985 Topic: Fifth Parliament 1986 to 1996. Known as the National Resistance Council (NRC), the Fifth Parliament was established following the end of the Ugandan 1981 to 1985 guerrilla war. Starting with 38 historical members of the National Resistance Movement and National Resistance Army, the legislative body was gradually expanded to include representatives from around the country. The speaker during the fifth parliament was Yoeri Museveni, who also concurrently served as the president of Uganda. Topic: <laughs> Sixth Parliament, 1996 to 2001. The sixth parliament was constituted during one-party rule (NRM). James Wapakabulo served as speaker from 1996 until 1998. From 1998 until 2001, Francis Ayume, a member of parliament from Koboko District, served as speaker. Topic: <laughs> Seventh Parliament, 2001 to 2006. 
The seventh parliament was presided over as Speaker by Edward Secondi. The most controversial legislation passed during this period was the amendment of the Constitution to remove presidential term limits. Eighth Parliament 2006 to 2011. This was a continuation of the Seventh Parliament, with Edward Secondi as Speaker and Rebecca Kadaga as Deputy Speaker. Topic: Ninth Parliament, 2011 to 2016. The Ninth Parliament was presided over by Rebecca Kadaga as Speaker and Jacob Olanya as Deputy Speaker. Topic: Tenth Parliament, 2016 present. In the 10th Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga and Jacob Olanya remained in their posts as Speaker and Deputy Speaker respectively. <laughs> 